Hey guys, it's Ash, and today I'll be sharing one of the strongest decks in the game right now. With this deck, I've placed number 1 in the 1000 player tournament, and number 5 in the other one. In total, I've won 30 battles in these two tournaments, and only lost 2 times. Now, this is also the first time I've shared an expo deck on my channel, so it's about time that I made a video on it. I know that there are a lot of people who absolutely despise the expo, but the first step to beating an expo deck is to understand how the deck functions and use it yourself. I am also working on another tutorial video to show you guys how to counter expo decks because right now I'm seeing so many people making big mistakes when playing against the expo. Not only that, I created this YouTube channel to help you guys master the best strategies with the best decks in the game and it would be hypocritical of me to hide the best decks from you guys. Anyways, this is the deck that I've been dominating with. Other expo decks have Fireball instead of Rocket, but I prefer Rocket because of the very high damage to Crown Towers, the ability to instantly knock out Elixir Collectors, and also the ability to shut down huge pushes. And alongside, I have Ice Spirit and Skeletons, both one Elixir cards that allow me to cycle through my expo and Rocket very quickly during double Elixir time. Other common variants use Guards or Skeleton Army instead of Skeletons, but I prefer the big benefit of being able to cycle quicker and keep my average Elixir cost very low. Also, if you don't have the Legendary Log, which is probably the best card in the game right now, then the best substitute for it in this deck would be Arrows. So let's do some battles right now with this deck and I'll show you guys how it works. Okay, here we go guys. First battle against Lorenz. Good luck. You have the Log, Ice Spirit, Mega Minion, and Inferno Tower. Okay, we're gonna play our Ice Spirit at the back and Cycle. We have Skeletons as well, so we're gonna use Skeletons. He's gonna play his Tombstone. And now, I'm gonna play my Mega Minion right here at the back, ready my Expo on the left. That way I can take out that uh, tombstone and also support my expo with now the incoming mega minion. He's gonna use a lightning. Okay, excellent counter right there, but my expo still locked onto his tower because of the positioning there. And as you guys can see, he got some great damage onto his tower. I'm gonna finish off this mega minion with the fire spirits now. There we go. Uh, that tombstone is gonna be pretty much useless because uh, I'm just ignoring it right now. I wanna play my ice spirit at the back again and again cycle through. I'm gonna play my Meg Minion this time on the right so that I can counter that Lava Hound and also avoid getting Lightning Dawn again on both the Mega Minion and Expo at the same time. Alright, so we're gonna use Fire Spirits while the Archers are distracted and also the Splash should uh, weaken his Lava Hound as well. I'm gonna use the Ice Spirit on the Mega Minion and then I'll just use Skeletons here to, here to uh, distract the Pups. Oh, he used Arrows to take down my Mega Minion with the Lava Pups. So that was a, a good play because. Um, that weakened my tower down to 1806. I'm still leading though, because look, his tower on the left is at 1024. So looking good. I'm gonna again play my Meg Minion on the right, prevent him from making a push, and at the same time play my Expo on the left. He's gonna use his Tombstone, okay. Archers to support, we're gonna use Fire Spirits. Nope, wasn't able to get them. We're gonna use a Log, ah, uh, missed one of the Archers. <laughs> but that's fine, my expo is still gonna lock onto his tower and even with 20% health, it's gonna deal a ridiculous amount of damage as you guys can see right there. His tower down to 114 in range for my rocket to finish it off. So now I just need to focus on defense on the other lane. He's got Mega Minion next to his Lava Hound. I'm gonna use a rocket because right now I just need to focus defensively guys. If I can remove that Mega Minion quickly and also kill his Lava Hound quickly, uh, I'm gonna look very good here. There, he has pups, we're gonna use fire spirits, and now since he just recently used his lightning, he's not gonna have his lightning, so lightning our Mega Minion in Expo here. He's got uh, Lava Hound coming up, of course. We're gonna raid that Inferno, because we do know he's got archers, he's got Mega Minion, so. Oops, I dropped my log. <laughs> I meant to place Ice Spirit, that was a fail. Uh, happens sometimes when you're commentating. Anyways, let's see, we're still looking okay here. We're gonna play our Inferno again and I'm gonna wait a bit play my fire spirits now on top of the archers we're gonna freeze his lava hound play my mega minion here play my uh, skeletons and oh right it's overtime almost forgot oh no finish him off with the rocket on time yes we did it that was a close one good game here we go guys next battle again shadow speed good luck 
uh, Mega Minion, Log, Fire Spirits, and Expo. Okay, we're gonna start off with our Expo right here. And this is where these One Elixir Skeletons come in very handy. I can place them right here in the front, distract everything safely. Uh, have my Expo lock onto his tower. He has a, a Sparky on the left. He used the log there on the Expo. Uh, really not what you want to do against an Expo. You don't want to use a log on it. It's, it's not going to do much. Uh, that Spark is going to be taken out by my Mega Minion. I don't even have to use anything else there. Nice. Already down to 480, which is in range for my... Uh, for my um, <laughs> the rocket to finish it off. So I'm going to play my Inferno here on that... Uh, furnace and it should also take out the wizard but he he used uh, minions to distract it so that's good uh, we're gonna use skeletons oh failed to surround the wizard uh, but that's fine the wizard isn't gonna deal too much he played his giant on the right in that case we're gonna play the expo on the left and pressure him that way if he decides to use spark he will just rocket the sparky and his tower at the same time so let's see what he does. We're gonna play the Mega Minion on top of the Giant. He's probably gonna use his minions here behind the Giant. That's what I'm predicting. Nope, he did not support his Giant. Maybe he didn't have the Elixir. Let's try and freeze that Ice that Wizard, not Ice Wizard. Um, okay, failed to freeze, but this time hopefully we can surround it properly. Yep, we surrounded it properly, and there we go. Took out the Wizard. Uh, our Mega Minion took his Tower, Fire Spirits to finish off these minions, and then we can use our Expo on the left. So yeah, as you guys can see, the rocket pretty much shuts down Sparky. It's so hard to use Sparky when uh, your opponent has a rocket because the rocket can one-shot the Sparky. I'm expecting... I was expecting Giant, but he played his Sparky. We're going to quickly freeze it right here. There goes his Sparky. <laughs> he decided to use Sparky to beat Expo. That's not how you beat Expo either, guys. This is what I'm talking about, guys. A lot of people really don't know what to do in this situation. And uh, I am going to work on making a video to show you guys what to do against an Expo. What he should have done was was place his giant at the center in a very, in, in a very specific uh, area. I'm going to show you guys that in another video on how to properly defend and beat the expo good game okay next against thunder chunky good luck uh we have inferno expo mega minion and rocket okay we're gonna play our expo at the at the left nope he's got hog we're gonna play the inferno then and then to play our expo once we have elixir because we're gonna need to support that expo and unsupported expo is really bad you really need support for your expo he's got musketeer but he's gonna play at the back so that's gonna allow my expo to lock onto his tower here he's gonna use fireball it's not gonna do too much okay he's gonna use mini pekka we're gonna use skeletons to distract and then the mega minion to kill his mini pekka took out our expo but look at his tower guys 1624 that is really good. We're gonna now just use the Ice Spirit right here, freeze the Musketeer. Musketeer is only gonna get one hit, which is really not much of a deal because I used the one Elixir Ice Spirit on a four Elixir Musketeer. Uh, again, he's gonna play his troop at the back, so uh, Expo is gonna lock on, but he's gonna use his Hog Rider, which is really good. We're gonna use the Log push back the the Hog and also kill his Princess at the same time and weaken his tower. And then we'll just use that ice bear right here uh, to freeze this musketeer. And the arena tower should finish it off without even getting one shot on my tower this time. Okay, perfect. Um, so we do know he's gonna, he does have hog rider and he's not afraid to use it on uh, our expo, which he should be doing. That's what he should be doing. But now I know what he has basically. So it's gonna be a lot less predictable for him. Um, I mean, it's gonna be a lot more predictable for me so let's see uh th there's his uh hog all right let's see skeletons are gonna take out that hog rider you're gonna need support with that hog there goes the hog uh tower down to seven six five four eighty perfect and then again ice spirit to finish off the musketeer and uh that tower is within rocket range so we're gonna switch towers play expo on the left and on the right that mega minion is gonna defend against his hog we can also use our skeletons, uh, our Inferno Tower, I mean, to block his Hog Rider. 41 seconds, uh, we're overflowing in the Elixir, so we're just going to play the Inferno because we know he's going to want to play his Hog. There goes his Hog, and 
Again, Mega Manian this time on the left because there's only 30 seconds left. We can finish off that tower on the right with our rocket, guys. Rocket, level 7 rocket does 493 hit points damage to an arena tower. So, 18 seconds. We're going to finish off that tower with the rocket now. And he has a high rider coming up very soon after that musketeer, I, I believe. Uh, nope. Princess, so we'll just log and then we'll just place down Inferno, but yet yeah, complete shutdown. Good game. Final battle against Chango. Good luck. Um, Inferno, Skeletons, Ice Spirit, Rocket. Okay, we'll play our Skeletons at the back. Cycle. Let's see what he does. Knight. Okay, play the Ice Spirit and just keep cycling. We're gonna cycle to the expo now. Uh, we're gonna ready the expo on the left. He's got a push with the knight and mega minion on the right, but that's not a problem. We can use the inferno tower right here. That giant is gonna block my expo, unfortunately. And we're gonna need to stop that mega minion, guys. So we're gonna need to use fire spirits to finish off the mega minion here. And then our ice spirit with the skeletons should finish off the rest. Okay, nice. And then we'll use ice spirit. <laughs> Freeze his guards there, and our Exo is going to deal some very good damage to his tower. We'll let our Arena Tower finish off these guards now. Alright, so as you guys can see, even though that big push he had on the right, we still came out on top. Look at it. Look at his tower on the top left. 10, 54. Our tower, 13, 26. So we're looking very good. Uh, we're going to play the Mega Minion, and this time we're going to use a Rocket on all of that. Hopefully I don't miss the Giant. Okay, nice. And then we'll just use a log, push it back, and then we'll just let the Mega Minion finish off that Giant. The Giant only got one hit, which is great. Um, so now he's going to need to expend. He's going to need to waste more Elixir to counter our Mega Minion. And there we go. Um, guards. Okay, in that case, we're going to need to use Fire Spirits because our Arena Tower can finish off that Mega Minion easily. We can ignore it. Okay, so we got value. Two Elixir versus three Elixir Guards, and then we ignored the Mega Minion. So we got great value. We're going to play the Expo right now. On the left, he just played his Musketeer. So he's most likely going to play a tank like his Knight or Giant. So I'm going to ready my Inferno for that. There goes his Knight. Then we'll just use our Skeletons to finish off his Skeletons. For that Musketeer, we can just use our Ice Spirit. He's going to play his Giant. Really not a good idea. That's not how you want to play Giant, guys. That was a fail on his part. So use the Log, finish off the Giant with the... Um, finish off the Guards in the Log fire spirits and now we're gonna ready another push with our expo this time on the other lane he's got knight he's probably gonna add in giant soon nope musketeer inferno readied there goes his push guys because we're gonna we're gonna look to use the rocket no we're not we're gonna use fire spirits on all of that first and now we're gonna use the log great value pushing back all of them and weaken weakening that uh that push significantly we're going to use the log, I mean the rocket right here. And that's going to be a great rocket. Unfortunately, missed one of the musketeers, but we're going to clear it up with our mega minion. So excellent defense against these giant decks. We're going to use our inferno, finish off his uh, giant. And for that mega minion, we're going to pull it with our fire spirits in the safe zone. Good game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, please leave a like if you did. And also subscribe for more daily Clash Royale content. I'll see you guys again soon. Later.